Hey y'all, it's Paula with Hillbilly Orchids. Welcome back to my channel. As you see in front of you, I really, really dread tackling this girl, but it's time. It is time. <laughs> it is really, really time. Um, she's very top heavy. She wants to fall over this way. And of course, as you can see, she's lifting herself up out of the pot with her roots. <clears throat> Um, so it's time that something needs to be done with her. She's got to be up potted into something bigger. Um, yeah, she's just, it's, it's just time. She's got to go into something bigger. She's got to be moved. Um, which I mean, I'll probably still keep her in the same place underneath of the grow star, but, uh, she's just such a beast such a big big plant I mean just goes on and on and on and on and on so and I kept waiting and waiting and waiting for her blooms to quit but she keeps popping up some new ones here and there there's where the last one came off at so but hang on let's see if we can get this done um, this is a this is a major repot here so hopefully everything will go smoothly but I wanted to show you guys how I'm going to transition these guys into bigger pots and, um, you know, let them become specimen sized plants. Okay, we are back. Um, <clears throat> I actually was able to find, I guess my husband did have a pair of Fiskers I didn't know about in the garage. I wiped them off with alcohol, but we've, we use so much, we, um, my husband uh, is a first class tree climber too um, he used to do a lot of tree work so we you know these are always used on our shrubs and trees at the house here too but um, you know they've been been used pretty pretty hefty so but we'll see if we need them so um, basically like I said she's in an 8 inch net pot I'm going to put her in this 9 inch um clear pot so but let's get her out of here and take a look at her she wants to fall over like I said she's very top heavy oh, I thought she ate her tag which it's definitely stuck in there that's for sure I don't even know how it was fitting in this pot to be honest with you I mean look at that <laughs> I don't even know how she was staying in that pot I really don't just crazy just crazy she is such a beast um, so much growth she just really really she's been a very very great vigorous grower for me and when I got her she was a rootless rescue um, a few years ago so I mean oh boy what to do with her <laughs> She is definitely, definitely a beast. She's a big one. Um, smells so good too. She's such a fantastic smelling plant. There's no way if I cut the pot off. Oh, I'm gonna lose her. <laughs> She's so hard to hold. If I cut the pot off. Um, I'll damage more roots than I care to so let me show you what I'm gonna do this plastic will never ever ever hurt a thing being in the other pot so I am not gonna remove it not at all so hang on give me one second and I will be right back oh mercy me I'm back <laughs> I don't know, y'all. This plant, I'm telling you, she's something else. Oh, she is something else. Um, but basically, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try. I mean, I don't really think I'm gonna hurt her roots much at all. Um, some went up around. I don't even know where they went. I only went through that tie. <laughs> um, yeah, she's so got so many roots. 
that um, a few getting broken or whatnot ain't gonna ain't gonna make or break this plant I don't think in any way shape or form so let's put a little media on the bottom <clears throat> <sighs> see if I can get some of these that are on the outer side see that one I, who knows where it came from to go down in there this one ain't gonna be easy guys <laughs> but you see how I'm definitely just gonna I'm just putting the whole net pot down in there um, it's not going to hurt a thing. It's plastic. It'll never, it'll never make any difference um, as to, you know, the, the outcome of this plant. It'll not affect it. Um, this plant will still grow strong and, yeah, it should be just fine. Manhandling these plants hurts my back so much. <laughs> you just have no idea. She's such a beast. This is really going to be a chore. And uh, I'm not sure if I'll get to do. Uh, Lily Marie might have to wait till later on. Um, so I have to make up some more coconut husk for her. So. Yeah. Uh, I've had her tied up in places because like sometimes her her bulbs get out of whack and stuff. Uh, whew, manhandling these and they're not so easy to manhandle either when you're watering them. <laughs> They're as big a pain in the butt when you're watering them, too. These plants are beastly. I should just bust them up, but uh, when she has so many blooms and stuff, it's just so nice. It's a species orchid when they get so big like that. It's just phenomenal to see them in that state. But they do, they're not space saving plants, they take up a lot of room. So. You don't have that kind of room you kind of can't do it you know so you always got to watch make sure you have plenty of space I'm probably gonna need some more media myself for this one so hang on let me grab some more <laughs> All right, now this one, this is going to be less uh, coconut husk because, yeah, because I told you I don't have no more. I ring it out. <laughs> so, this is going to be more, I mean, there's there's a little bit in here, but this is more uh, bark, um, orchiata bark, coconut husk, or a little bit of coconut husk that was left, perlite, and uh, charcoal, and this is... Uh, Orchid Supply Store, Bark, Charcoal, and Perlite, and of course, their pot, so, <clears throat> yes, 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 Ken sent me some of these big pots just so I could do this one and do my Lily Marie, and uh, as I told him, I said, I need those big pots, and if you had clear ones, that's great, if you don't, I did buy some 10 inch um, green colored pots, but you can't really see the roots and keep an eye on things like that. Oh boy, I feel a sneeze coming on. <laughs> I've stopped the camera too much. Now, now I gotta sneeze. Mm. Um. Oh. I'm gonna need a break after this one. Like I said, I probably, I probably will have to be done because um, I don't have enough to pot Lily Marie. So, 
And I do have her leaning a little too much to the front. Get down in there. Oh, mercy, you guys. Maybe I should divide it up. I got this plant back in 2018, and uh, she's just grown to be a beast. Like I said, she was a rootless rescue when I got her. She is what definitely... She was one of the one of the ones that started me off on loving cat layers, that's for sure. Whew, I know I'm probably jerking you guys all around on the table and I'm so sorry, but there's <laughs> Not much I can do about it. <laughs> this one is such a beast. I might not show you Lily Marie. Oh my word, I'm tired. <laughs> oh, this thing's whooping my butt. <laughs> that is sad to admit. So sad to admit. Uh, really honestly she don't have a whole lot more growing space in this nine inch pot to be honest with you Fill in that massive hole right there. <sighs> Once you guys, I'll uh, I'll stop it here and I'll come back when it's done because this is gonna take me a little bit. I need to take a break. I'm sorry. I'm just totally. This is taking it out of me. This is really taking it out of me. I apologize, but hang tight and I will be right back. Okay, guys, final conclusion. <laughs> it's a beast. <laughs> I got, uh, I got everything filled in nicely. And, um, yeah, now I just got to get a pot ready. And I see in her lips she's starting to go over. So, she won't, Bloom won't be around much longer, but there she is. She's all up potted, and I'll get her mask on her, and she's good to go. So, with that said, I appreciate y'all stopping by and hanging out with me, and bye for now, y'all. Till we meet again.